<laughs> ah. Where are we today? Ah, this is going to be an interesting one. So where am I today? Okay. Today, I'm in Brighton Beach. Brighton Beach, Brooklyn. Why am I in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn? Brighton Beach, uh, in case you don't know where, where that is, Brighton Beach is a neighborhood in the south of Brooklyn. It's right next to Coney Island, in fact. That's, Coney Island is that way, right? So the beach is over there, and it's the same beach, right? So, but here's the deal, right? So Brighton Beach, right? Here's my concern, right? You're watching fake news all day long, right? CNN, MSNBC, and they're saying the Russians, right? The Russians. Right? It's all the Russians, right? The Russians are doing this and the Russians are doing that. So right now, I gotta be quiet because why? Because I'm in a Russian neighborhood. All the Russians live here, right? I don't know what to expect, but I'm gonna try to find some Russians, find out what they think, right? Because I already know what I think, right? So, it's, uh, again, R Brighton Beach is one of the most important demographics for the Russian-American experience, right? It's about, it's about 300, there's about 3 million Russian-Americans, people that identify themselves as, as Russian. So it's about 1%, and then I think it's like a half a million people are actually from Russia. Right? But in Brighton Beach, this is the highest concentration, one of the highest concentrations in the country of people from Russia. You hear them speaking Russian, right? I see a lot of the signs of Russia. Right? It's one of the highest. I'm a little nervous because I don't wanna I don't wanna offend people, you know what I mean? What I wanna know I wanna know is does it offend you as a Russian American or someone from Russian from Russia, Russian descent, that the mainstream media keeps keeps pinning you and trying to frame you as as a spy? Right? You're Russian, right? You're a Russian spy, right? Are you Lucifer? Right? It's discrimination, right? Because I know, you know, my, my grandparents were from Italy and and you know, just because you have a vowel at the end of your name, you know, they think you're, <laughs> they think you might be in the in the mafia, right? So, so that's what I'm trying to find out today. You know, you know, this is all like Russian, Russian, Russian stuff. I'm trying to talk to this guy. I'm gonna be very, very polite. How you doing, mate? Hey, uh, are you are you Russian? No, you're not Russian. Where are you from? I, I'm, 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 I'm not. You're not in the in the frame. So you're from Ukraine, right? I'm just checking out. I'm doing a YouTube, YouTube blog. blog. Okay, thank you, sir. No, he's from, he's from the Ukraine. Ukraine, right? That's different. That's not Russian. What is it? I don't. Know. From you, Russian? Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> say so in Russian, so I believe you. No, I'm not Russian. Ah. Hey, you mind? Would you? Could I ask you a couple of questions? I'm curious. You I'm doing a YouTube channel. Remember, uh, Soviet Union, Fifteen Republic. Can I bring you into the frame? You mind? I'm just gonna. So there we are. How you doing? It's a YouTube channel. I'm just asking. Okay, I, I no, want to. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, people are shy. People are shy about the the, the Russian experience. Or are they? But maybe I'm just like a weird guy. What the hell? Just trying to find out. Just trying to find out. If anybody's offended by watching CNN, <laughs> I don't know, man. Because it pisses me off. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I don't know. I don't know. I might. How you doing, mate? Hey, are you Russian? Are you Russian? I'm not Russian. I'm Russian. No, I. Just you know what it is, I'm doing a, a, a YouTube, I'm uh, just waving the train to bat. Ah! Ah, 
Yeah, that doesn't bother you because you live around here. I come this way so you can see it. Yeah, it's much clearer now. So, so um, my my name is uh, Marcus. I'm an investigative. Marcus. Marcus. Okay, nice to meet you, Marcus. And uh, what's your name? Uh, Demar. Demar. So the reason I'll tell you why I'm here, right? Uh, what I what I notice is uh, watching CNN, right? There's a lot of this Russian propaganda, you know, bullshit that yeah, they're trying they're trying to frame. You know, I grew up in New York. I, my my grandparents are from Italy, and and uh, just make sure we're in the frame here. And uh, you know, so I know about the the immigrant experience for my grandparents. And what I'm trying to figure out is the Russian folks that live in the neighborhood. Does it does it offend them when they see you know when they see CNN saying the Russians are they're, they're spies and they're you know what do you think you live around? No, that's uh, you know actually it's not probably here but uh, you know in Russia is no one about that. Right. As a country, you know we know that you know the president is used to be you know a KGB officer, so right a KGB officer we all used to be. So now. Uh, the people around here, Russian people, they like him. They like him because they, they want to Putin. see their country, their country Vladimir. like high, a very important country. And right. they want to, you know, to compare to United States because after the collapse of the Soviet Union, they wanted to keep Russia as, you know, in high level. Right. Whatever it, it is not, but they wanted, you know, to, you know, they like their country and they wanted you know, to make Russia yeah, like a, a superpower. He's right. too funny about that. Right. But do, you, but, but do you think, like, do you think that, um, what I'm trying to say is that, do you think that people of Russian descent that come here, first, first of all, do you think that the Russians, uh, uh, do you think they meddled in the in the American election in 2000? They did. They did you for did? Sure. How? They did, for sure, 100%. Wow. How, how, do you, how do you? No, that I know, that they did, for sure. The, the melding in the uh, in, uh, election in 2016, for sure, Russia had, uh, you know, we had different uh, 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 proofs, you know, what the, the, uh, the special council, I uh, mean, you know, and because uh, uh, 13 nationalists are Russian, they are very close to the Kremlin, right? Well, uh -huh. the guys that the guys that got caught, the, 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 the 13 guys. That, yes, actually, yeah, but they were, they were, say he's not going to extradite them anyway. All right. Right, right. Well, he's what were there. they doing? They were just they, they bought a couple of Facebook ads, right? Uh, they, what they did, you know, they like you know here they like introduce uh, like uh, Facebook, uh, Google, and different you know uh, internet and that. And yeah, but they were doing their rights to do that, right? They buy some some Facebook ads. Uh, they like store identities, you know, and they show like they are American, like they are you know supporting America, but they are not American nationalists. Okay? Right. But they, Wait, where, they, where are you from? I, I I don't have I don't know your accent. Where are you I from? know I know I am from Armenia. Armenia. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm very curious because I think that, you know, mo and most Americans that pay attention, we think that, uh, and we're pretty sure that it was actually the Democratic Party that passed the election. That it wasn't in fact, that it was in fact a, a, a hack, not a, uh, a, a leak, not a hack. And it was, and the Guccifer, Guccifer, the Guccifer story is really just, it's fake. That when the DNC got caught cheating, they had to blame somebody, so they blamed the Russians. That's what most people watching this channel. Uh, I tell you the truth. I watch CNN, I watch uh, the, the, right. uh, the MSNBC and uh, Fox France also. Right. But one thing I tell you the truth, there are certain journalists where I do like, and I look at their commentary and what they do, and certain are like, we say they, they left side or right side, I don't care about it. But the news is supposed to be concrete. Yeah. Clean, nice, whatever happens, they're supposed to say. Okay. I don't. Uh, Trump say like uh, CNN and MSNBC is talking. Okay. Right, what right. is not? Right. What is not? They support him. Whatever he does, something good. They will tell. Yeah, they will tell. They find something wrong. Right. They will say okay. But they can okay, they can okay, because it's true. It's coming up. Right. See what, what we have in this white house is a circus. Yeah. In the circus, every day we have like something like the guy he's still thinking like he's in, uh, you know in the, in the apprentice show. You think you think Trump you think Trump's involved with the Russians? Surely Trump. That's exactly <laughs> his problem. His problem is financial. I'm his not, problem is is that. Right. Uh, Miller exactly is a guy who exactly is on that. I am not telling exactly but the Russian, you know, did help him to be election, but mm -hmm. what he has, he has a lot of things on his hiding, like his taxes. You know, want to show them, and never right. any, anybody did that before. And actually, I, I think I think people think because his wife has an accent 
Beh, sì, sono Massimo. Mi eh, si sta fermando. Ah, no. Sono sulla Venia. Sì, sono sulla Venia, sì. Yeah. Uh, the other one, Ivana, è il centro di Papua. Ok. Lui è against, è against immigrant, ma his family is immigrant. Yeah. No one talks about his, his kids, all are the immigrant from one is immigrant from Czech Republic. Right, right. Now, the baron, the last uh, boy he has with uh, Menina, also is immigrant because his wife is from, right. uh, from Slovenia, correct? Yeah. And she get her papers, whatever it is like, and she, she get married with him in 2005. Yeah. How far is that? It's so long. That is not one gener generation, right? Yeah. So she's immigrant. Well, he's talking about immigrant. He wants to build the whole wall and build that. And the <laughs> Come on. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's no, I, I hear you, man. I'm no, fr I'm no fan of Trump. I voted for, uh, I voted for Bernie Sanders. And uh, I felt like, you know, the Democratic Party... You know, stuck a knife in Bernie's back, and then yes, and then and then when they got caught doing it, they tried to blame, you know, Russian oligarchs and all this nonsense. So yeah, that's right. that's no I mean, time. I'm gonna keep more. I'm gonna, I thank so much for your time. I'm gonna keep moving on. I want to try to find some some real Russians. Loud. Must be a fire somewhere. Marcus, all right. this is very nice. Me too. Also, I mean, I live around here. You know, anything yeah. you want, and you don't. I tell, this is my opinion, okay? Yeah. I can't be like, wrong. somebody doesn't like what I'm saying. Everybody has a right to his opinion. Absolutely. And I agree with that. That is Absolutely. a journalism. That's exactly what you could say. I just feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm coming out trying to defend the Russian people, <laughs> right? Because, again, it's, it's, if we were to say, it's just like, it's just like when you're, you're applying that. Some people they don't know English also. Yes, I know. There is an English. English. I, I, English quite, a, quite a bit of. But people. sometimes you can find like uh, you know yeah. young people. You can Hi, are you, are, you, are you Russian? Yes. Rush can I ask you a question? Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, no. Hi. Oh, what's it? Got okay, a cool dog. Um, my name is Marcus. I'm an investigative journalist. I just I'm just trying to find out. Um, I came. I live in Brooklyn. I live in Bay Ridge. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I'm trying to do a, I'm trying to do a little research, and I want to know if. If you, you're you're from you're, you're born here or you're born in Russia, no. you're born in Russia. So, so you're actually like a, a, a small minority in Brighton Beach. How do you feel about CNN, right, and the mainstream media like uh, like like MSNBC, saying you know the, the, the Russians Russians hack the election, you know it's Trumps and Trumps Trumps in bed with the Russians. How, how does that how does that make you feel? I know. Okay, uh, politics, politics, no good. Okay, thank you for your time. People are, people are reluctant to, to they're very reluctant to talk about about politics, right? I don't know, man. We've got to find some Russians. Can't find no Russians. <laughs> Searching for some Russians. But uh, that guy was, that guy that I was talking to, he's from Armenia. He's not... But he lives around here. See, it's a mixed, it's a mixed bag, and a mixed bag of people around here. But, but again, how do you, you know, you know, is all all Mexicans, you know, drug dealers, and all, all you know, all the Arabs or terrorists? What about Russians? You know, what happens? They can't get a, they can't get a computer job. No one's going to let them touch their computer because they might be a you know Russian spy. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, it's a flea market. Hi. Ooh, Russian flea market. Wow, so this is quiet over here. So again, Brighton Beach is the, uh, you know, that's the immigrant experience in New York City. You get to different neighborhoods, people land in different neighborhoods. How you doing, man? Try to find some young people. So, 
people speaking straight up Russian. Anybody wants to talk to me. I think I'm a spy. <laughs> I think I'm the KGB. Let's keep walking. It's get cold out in New York. It's so cold. How you doing, man? It's early in the morning too. A lot of people aren't morning people. Russian organic. That's cool. Huh? Organic food. This is a good one. The Russian psychic. Hi. Russian psychic. I bet she knows some stuff. Huh? Russian psychics. How you doing? Hey, hey. Uh, my name is Marcus. I'm investigative. Oh, you speak English? You speak English? Oh, no English. Okay. Have a nice day. People are terrified of the camera. People are terrified. Russian jewelry. <laughs> Russian food. I just had one of those potato potato things. It's damn good, man. It's street food. Russian street food is like it's like a potato knish. Let's see with this guy. Maybe I could talk. Maybe this guy talk to him. Hey, what are you selling over there? What you got, man? Oh, cool. Oh, this is good. So, oh, T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Cool. Are you Russian? Russian. You're Russian? Uzbekistan. I'm from Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Oh, so you're from. Hey, can I bring you into the camera? I'm a journalist. I'm doing a little research. Yeah, yeah. Hey, here we go. Yeah, hey, I'm filming myself. Hey, are you are you, uh, are you from you from Uzbekistan? How long have you been here? Uzbekistan. Huh? Uzbekistan, Tashkent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uzbekistan. I know where it is. It's at the bottom part. The bottom. Green carta. Green carta. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you feel about the election? You think that. You think that the Russians stole the election? <laughs> no. <laughs> the people go quiet when you talk no about English. politics. Russian. No English. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'll keep walking. Thank you, mate. Guys selling telephones. T-Mobile. It's working. It's a working man, working Russian guy. He was from Russia. He's from Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is one of the little... Countries that broke off in the 90s. Mostly Arab. Uh, mostly, not Arab, but uh, Muslim. Some good food, man. I love love Russian food. Still haven't gotten a real Russian on. Still haven't spoke to a real Russian 18 minutes in. Hi, are you Russian? Yes. Are you? Hey, can I ask you a question? Young guy, too. So, uh, my name is Marcus. I'm an investigative journalist. Quick question. Uh, so, you, you don't have to answer if you don't want. I'm trying to find out if Russian people... I, I'm from Brooklyn. I, I grew up in Brooklyn. I grew up in Staten Island. But I'm trying to find out if the, the majority of people here get offended when they see CNN and MSNBC running this Russian bullshit propaganda about that the Russians hacked the election. What, what, does, that, does that offend you when you see that? Or you have no offense? What do you think about it? Uh... That's the hard question, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you find it insulting? No. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, you're trying to ask what I'm thinking about uh, Mr. Putin or what? Well, yeah. I mean, I guess you know, put it's that's what I what I care about is like, okay, Russia. Russia is a country and it's over there and. You were born in Russia. You were born yeah, in Russia. Yeah. So you now you're here. Are you American or you, oh, almost? Just, yeah. Well, okay. I, so yeah, so I came here recently, actually, six right. months ago. Right. So, so like I'll give you an example. Like my my grandparents and great grandparents were all from Italy, right? Yeah. 
and they were they were they immigrated to the country and I was born here and and um, you know as a kid you know you, as a you know you're you're Italian so everybody thinks you're in the mafia you know or you know like 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 Mexicans you know Trump's on TV saying all oh, Mexicans are drug dealers they jump over the wall right so now you've got CNN and MSNBC and MSNBC trying to say that the Russians hacked the American election when. There's, there's no evidence to prove it, right? So, what I what I wonder is if, as a as a I, Russian I don't person, think they did that, right? I don't either. No, <laughs> most people would that with any common sense know that that's not what happened. What happened? What do you think? Of? You tell me. <laughs> it just because you know. What's your name, by the way? Dennis. Dennis. Yes. And Marcus. Uh, America wants. Uh, their influence in the world. I mean, right. we, yeah, and uh, they became too close to Russia. <laughs> right, you know? right. And now they it's business, right? It's business. Yeah, it's oligarchs. It's yeah. it's the rich, Amer rich billionaires in America siding yeah. with the rich, Ru going against the rich Russians, yeah. and it has nothing to do with the people, right? Yeah, absolutely. But but why why blame Russia for 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 hacking an election when there's no evidence to? To, to because they want to go fight them. <laughs> go fight them. Yes. Start a war, right? Uh, yeah, economically, politically, and then we'll see what's going on next. You think that? You think that the the, the Russians? You think that the Russians? I don't even know what it means anymore. Do you think that the Russian government had anything had any involvement whatsoever in helping Donald Trump get elected and? Not burn, don't not so. not Hillary Clinton. Don't don't think so. Is there any evidence? I mean, is there any? Oh, here's a question I want to ask you. As a young, you know, young person, and uh, do you find any anybody saying to you like like they won't let you near their computer because they think you're hacked or something? No, that's good. That's good. That's good to hear because I was I was concerned. You know, I was a little concerned about that. Like, People say, "Oh, you're Russian." It means you can't let him near the computer because he's going to hack the he's going to hack the computer. <laughs> what else, man? What else? It's it's a good it's you know uh, what the hell am I doing out here? You know, asking people on the street. But it's it's a it's a burning question because that in, you know in this country we have you know we have uh, you know a bill of rights and uh, there's discriminatory rights and when you know. You know, because cause you've got the liberal left saying, oh, look at Trump, he's a racist and he's a bigot and he's a misogynist. But then they're, they're over there, they're over there bashing, you know, bashing Russian people. Like, I'm trying to find one, 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 I'm trying to, where's, where's the spies? Where's the, you know, where's the computer hacks? It doesn't make sense. That's the point, right? Here we are, Ground Zero, Brighton Beach. This is where most, most people from Russia, you know, land. For the first time, right? It's a good place. Mm -hmm. The beach is right down the block. Coney Island's over there. So, but anyway, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep trying to find us. US, U.S. has a uh, uh, big national debt. Yeah, you know? yeah. And they uh, uh, like uh, like Russia, like Russia. They uh, America uh, like uh, trying to survive. Yeah, you know, but. Uh, uh, the money, yeah. She she wants like. Um, it's all about the money. Yeah, it's all about the money. money. It's all about the money always. Yeah. All right. Say something to Russian. Say something cool to the to the people in Russia. Yeah. Huh? Say something. Say something. Say something so loud. The chains pass on above. So say 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 something, say something in Russian that people would. Ah, всем извините, что я по-английски плохо говорю, но мы победим. All right. Uh, what does it mean? What does it mean? Huh? What does that mean? Uh, friendship. Friendship. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much for your time, man. I appreciate it. Good luck, man. Yeah. See you, Dennis. Ah, Dennis is cool, man. Dennis had some insight, right? Dennis had some insight about being a young, young Russian man in America. I made a friend, Dennis. Let's try some more Russians. Let's try to find some more Russians.
That's a young guy. See young people? Young people. He's the Russian experience, right? He's the Russian American experience. Russian nice young guy coming over. Right? He had some political views, but does he think that the Russians, you know, attacked the election? Nope. <laughs> nope. Just the Armenian guy. The Armenian guy. Say, yeah, yeah, fucking Russians did it. How are you? I'll try to find some people. I'll try to find some people. I'll see Russian food. Lots of Russians. <laughs> I'll buy some Russian dressing while I'm here. Uh, yeah, you can see down down each one of these blocks. That's where the beach is. Ocean. Ah, the ocean. I'll try to find one more person. How you doing? So again, you know, all joking aside, it really is. Is it? Is what CNN, what I'm trying to get to is, is what CNN is doing on television, right? Is what we would call a, an ethnic slur. Hillary Clinton. John Podesta, right? Wait for the train to go. It's a funny thing about New York. When you're waiting for a train, you never come, but... When you don't want them, they they come every two seconds. Right? But that's it's the real the real deal is like it is an ethnic slur to be saying that all Russians are are are, are spies and 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 that's the Russians are hacked our election and you know. But Americans are smarter than that. It seems right. That guy, you know, Dennis. He didn't see anybody. He didn't feel any animosity. It's all, like, to him, it's a, it's a joke, you know? But to people in the middle of the country, right, or maybe that you don't have exposure to, you know, a Russian community like this, where you could just walk right in and, 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 and see, you know, see people from that place, that it's not, like, like, over there, you know, but it's right over here, right? It's, it's a different experience, because we know, that, you know, when, when you throw all kinds of people together, you don't really get that that hardcore animosity that you might get elsewhere. Hey, guys. Russian mafia. <laughs> all over New York, you see, you know, all the guys standing on the corner talking. It's, it's guys running the place. No, they probably, I'm just joking, they probably own a business or something. Business owners, they're just, you know, local guys. Local guys, local guys. How you doing? Are you Russian? What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm, the, I'm a YouTube uh, investigative journalist. I want to try to find out if people, uh, if people, you know, that are from Russia or Russians, uh, what they feel about the the election. Do they think? Because I don't. I think it was a bunch of bullshit that the Russians hacked our election. You, what do you think? The Russians hacked. Shit about it. <laughs> I, get about, I get about the American. All right. I do too. So you think? So so you think yeah, are you that? Are taking my picture? I I won't take. But you want you don't want to take a picture? I just I just take I just tape your voice. But what do you? Problem here. I was living here for like twenty something years. I care about this country, not the. Same. Damn right, damn right. Me too. My grandparents that came from from Italy. What I'm what I'm concerned is that when I see when I see CNN and I see MSNBC running fake over news. and over, fake news, right? It's fake, right? But. But don't you find that, don't you find that as a Russian person, don't you find that insulting? Like, how dare you say that, you know, like, like, like maybe, okay, look, maybe, you know, we know who, we know what happened in 2016. We know the Democrats stole the election, right? Yeah, look at Hillary now. She's falling down. <laughs> it was so, can, can I, can I film you? Can I, can I put you in? Come into my frame. What's what your name, mate? I'm I'm from Brooklyn. My name is Marcus Conti, I'm investigative journalist. I'm just trying to I'm going to bat for the for the immigrant for the person yeah, look, that lands here. Huh? Look at Hillary. Okay, I know she's falling down the stairs in India. She's losing a money. Yeah. She lost her legs. Now they're talking about she's got like double. That's what she's always. She's got doing. a stunt double. Yeah, they, there's there's rumor that she has that that's not who she she's she's got a, someone that comes out and looks like uh, is really healthy, uh, but. Uh, 
But they, you know, they're the ones who they're the ones who stole the election. Yeah. From Bernie Sanders, they got caught, right? They get well, caught, no, 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 and then they and they're trying to say Hillary has told the Democratic Party said that. If you look at it, all the news. Right. What about Obama? He's supposed to be getting impeached. Yeah, He's Obama. He was he was involved in the, in the look. They they look in America. We're supposed to have free free and fair elections, and and that's not the case anymore, right? right. So Democrats. Democrats, they steal, they steal an election, they get caught, right? And then, and then they lose, they lose, to, they lose to Trump. So they got to blame somebody. Okay, people just like Trump, right? Uh, I mean, he, if he shut his mouth, maybe it could be better. But whatever his promise, he's delivered. Yeah. Only one president delivered whatever his promise. If this Democrat and Republican get together, I figure out how to do that, they'd be better. Not only that. Look at it, an illegal immigrant, right? Right. All of these people, all the money spent it over there, instead of a guy homeless, all of that Americans who need money, they don't want to spend it over there. Right, right. Look at the judges, yeah, all of that, yeah. legal system. Very corrupt, very no, corrupt. No, no, the legal system, they, I mean, they spend it, Democrats spend it on the lawyers, to protect our legal. We want the guy here, and see you guys the guys the houses, for people to live, I mean, it's just ridiculous. No yeah. doubt about it. Hey, thank you very much for your time, man. Thank you. Yes. Peace, man. Thank you for your time. That's a good guy. I like that guy. Guy is a real Russian. <laughs> is it real Russians and fake Russians? I don't know. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> you, forgot where, <laughs> you forgot where he's going. He's going the wrong way. I got him. I got him so worked up. He forgot where he was going. Guy speaking speaking Mexican. That was no Russian. That guy speaking Mexican on the corner. Spanish, excuse me. So anyway, what did he say? That guy was cool, man. That guy had it all right. This guy's like, I don't. It's all bullshit. He says bullshit. Right. The whole thing is bullshit. Damn right. Damn right it's bullshit. Those are Russian ladies. Russian ladies. It's good food, man. Damn. It's vegetarian, but it's got some good stuff. Look at this shit. Ah, Russian street food. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Hi, how are you, sir? Excuse me. Some Russian music. <laughs> break out the, break out the fake fur hat. Hi, are you Russian? <laughs> are you? Ooh, wow. Can I bring you into my frame? My name is Marcus. I'm an investigative journalist. I'm just asking people questions, and you're a young person. What's your oh, name? No, no, no. Oh. No? Okay. Uh, can, I ask you, can I ask you a question? Are you, you working? Are you working? You're working. You don't want to talk. You know, you can ask you could ask people anything really in New York, right? But when you start talking about politics and religion, it just their faces change. Like I was, she smiled. She wanted to talk to me, right? And then once I said, oh, "Can I can I ask you a couple of questions?" Brought her into the frame. And, uh, so they get all they get all crazy. But that was. Uh, I'll try to find one more Russian. One more. Oh right, look, that's my hair. Look. Maybe it's my hair that's keeping people away. I don't know. <sighs> Hi. How are you guys doing? Hi. Oh. Hey, can I ask you guys a question? Mind if I bring you into the frame? Hi. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. <I'm> busy. <laughs> he told me to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Tony, I'm busy. Uh, having a good time, man. Having a good time, man. Ooh, it's cold out. It's cold out and it's early out. A lot of Russian women. 
tough people. They're very tough face. Okay. Look, I, again, <laughs> I believe that all people should have an opportunity to not be discriminated against and not scapegoated. Right? You don't scapegoat people. You don't, you don't, you don't fuck up and then try to dump it on somebody else. Right? That's what the Democrats are doing. That guy had it right. He said they, they fucked up and then they try to dump it on somebody. That's what I'm talking about. Why the Russians? Andy McCabe, look at him. He's, he was involved with the Russian oligarchs. They, they came up with this bullshit story. Everybody knows it on the inside, right? Him, Comey, Podesta, Clintons. Right? Why is this scapegoating the Russians? We're in Brighton Beach, I can't find a single person that says, you know, you know, says Russia, Russia, Russia hacked the election. Such bullshit. Such bullshit. Right? No animosity, right? They're not saying get the fuck out of here. Don't talk about talk about my country. None of that. Right? Just right. You don't scapegoat people. That's what that's what I'm trying to say. That's what this is about. That's what, that's why I'm here trying to find out. Right? All right I'm freezing my ass off. So. That's it for now. I'm going to go inside and get warm. So, uh, I don't know, just food for thought. I had this idea, like, go out and find some real Russians, you know, on the street. Brighton Beach, New York City. Ground zero for the Russian-American experience. We met some real Russians, man. We had some we had a conversation with some real ones. All right. Marcus Conti, peace out.